Hello everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So today we're going to be looking at two fragrances from the French house of Houbigant. And both these fragrances have a really classy, slightly old school feel about them, which is great for me because uh, if you know anything about me, basically I'm someone who would love to turn back the clock to the 1950s. Uh, except maybe I just keep one or two modern luxuries like maybe uh, power steering for cars, unlimited sports on the TV and uh, free internet porn. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, two really great fragrances that we're going to be looking at today. So Fougere Royale and Cologne Intense from the house of Hubigot, a French house, a niche house. Both really interesting fragrances. Fantastic bottles on both these fragrances, as we can see. One of them is from way back in the 19th century, and one of them was released in 2015. So let's find out a little bit more about each one. So the first one I'm going to be talking about today is Cologne Intense, actually the more recent of the two releases. This one came out in 2015. The perfumer is Luca Maffe. And what's this fragrance all about? The idea, according to Hubigon, is that they've taken the classic citrus eau de cologne, first created way back in the 18th century, and they've tried to intensify that experience. So they've kept the top notes, the bergamot, the neroli, the pettigrain, the typical things you expect in a citrus cologne, but they've added a little bit more intensity and depth in the base without losing that essential uh, summery citrus fresh feel, but they've deepened it a little bit. And so Cologne Intense in the top, we have bergamot, lemon, petit grain, and neroli. In the mid, lavender, tarragon, pink pepper, jasmine, and mate tea. And in the base, we have incense, patchouli, labdanum, amber, and oak moss. So yes, here it is, Cologne Intense. Let's have a sniff of it and see how it smells. So here we go. Okay, really, really nice opening. The first thing that strikes me, uh, the two words that come to mind are sweet lemons. So it's reminiscent a little bit of maybe Dior's classic Eau Sauvage from 1966 with a really nice natural lemony feel, but not a very sharp one because there's quite a lot of sweetness in this one from the outset. So it's, it's a sweeter kind of lemon, uh, maybe quite a ripe lemon, I guess, rather than a very uh, acidic or sharp lemon note. And everything is softened out by so many of the notes that are in there as well as the lemon. So there are some nice herbal notes in there. There's some florals. And in the base, of course, we've got patchouli. I think it's interesting that there's mate tea in there. And the incense, of course, is a rather unusual note in something called cologne intense. So the incense in there is a really interesting note. It reminds me actually a tiny bit of Aqua di Gio Profumo, which is also a citrus fragrance that uses a little bit of incense and has an eau de parfum concentration. So if you like that one, you might find this interesting. Mate tea is another one that you don't see in too many fragrances so very interesting note there and it just it adds to the whole softness and smoothness with a very slightly exotic feel that we get with this one so I really enjoy this performance is moderate I don't find it to be anything special but it's okay for an eau de parfum but not, not particularly strong it's a restrained refined and elegant scent Season wise, it conjures up the image of spring and summer, but it could, it has enough depth, I think, to be worn in uh, colder seasons of the year, too. I find it very elegant and sophisticated. If you like things like Dior's Eau Sauvage, if you like Aqua de Palma colognes, but you'd like something a little bit different, maybe it has a little bit more uh, depth and richness than those, this could be worth investigating. Things against it, it could be just a little bit ho hum. It's just another citrus fragrance although it does have a little bit more to it, but it is very refined and restrained and elegant and a little bit old fashioned. So it might not have a huge wow factor, but the beauty of this one is all in the, in the subtlety of the way that the notes combine to create a very elegant feel. Moving swiftly on then, we've got Fougere Royale from Houbigant as well. In the top, we've got Lavender, Bergamot and Clary Sage. In the mid, we have Geranium, Heliotrope, Rose, Orchid and Carnation. Base notes are Oak, Moss, Tonka, Musk and Vanilla. So this one, is a rather different matter. Fougere Royale, this was first released way back in the 19th century by the house of Houbigon. It was the first ever Fougere fragrance. So Fougere means fern, so this basically means royal fern. It was supposed to create a fern-like air about the gentleman who wore it, along with some other notes, of course. 
In there was another revolutionary thing, and that was the use of coumarin, a molecule taken and isolated from the tonka bean, which has become very important and prevalent in male and maybe female perfumery too since then. So really important historic fragrance. They've recreated it in 2010. Probably smells quite different to how it did back then, one would imagine, but I don't know anyone with a 19th century bottle. It was in production for quite a while after that. I don't know if it was on and off, but well into the 20th century, into the 60s, maybe 70s. Not sure when it stopped being available, but certainly it wasn't around for a while, but now it's back. Again, the bottle looks beautiful. Let's check it out. Okay, so this one much less obviously citrusy. Does have bergamot in there, but the citrus element doesn't really jump out particularly. It's still fresh though, but it's more of a, a rich, manly sort of freshness. This is more of a barbershop type of scent rather than a citrus eau de cologne. If you like things like Reeve Gauche Pour On by Yves Saint Laurent, if you like things like Penn Halligan's Sartorial, maybe if you enjoy Paco Rabanne Pour On from 1974 or Drac Noir, but you're looking for a niche version with some of the rough old grandad sort of notes of those smoothed out a little bit and made a little bit more classy, a little bit more refined, this could be the one for you. If you want one of those old fragrances, the, the designer Fougeres, maybe Azaro Poron, but you want the niche version where only the very finest, most expensive ingredients are used, this one could appeal to you. It's definitely uh, more of a winter appropriate scent and a, more of a, a cold weather scent than Cologne Intense. Uh, I would say that you would want to be dressed up with this one and it wouldn't be great for casual wear because it might be a little bit too much. It could come across a little bit stuffy and staid to some people. I did see one reviewer say that he got into fragrances entirely to get away from this kind of what he thought were boring old-fashioned fragrances, but I don't think that's quite fair. It's absolutely splendidly well blended to create a very unified theme, just one thing that you smell and smells great. You, I don't pick out a lot of the individual notes that much, that may be due to my own failings, but it just smells very classy, a little bit reassuring, gives the air of a man who's confident and uh, who is distinguished and refined and sophisticated. The longevity is quite good. I think it's a little bit stronger than Cologne Intense. Uh, it's got some vanilla and tonka bean in there, so it's got a little bit more of a sweetness about it and a very strong herbal mossy element, more so than Cologne Intense with less of a citrus top um, that, you, that you notice. So a fantastic option if you like barbershop old school scents and you want a real niche version of those. A real contender right up there, I would say, alongside things like uh, MDCI's Invasion Bar Bar, uh, maybe uh, what is it, uh, Roger Dove's uh, Scandal. If you like those kind of old-fashioned type fragrances and you're looking for another niche alternative, not too expensive though compared to some of those, Fougère Royale, the classic from the 19th century, is well worth checking out. So mark-wise, I would give Fougère Royale a solid 9 out of 10. And Cologne Intense, I also really like it, but I reckon I would go for an 8.5 out of 10. It's quite subtle, and some days I wear it and I feel a little bit disappointed that I'd like a little bit more projection out of it, but it's, it's refined, so over the months and months I'm going to continue wearing it, I might get to know it even better. So both of these really good options from a not-too-overpriced niche house, Who Begone Paris, well worth checking out if you like classic scents. Thanks for joining me. Remember, whatever we're doing in life, let's project, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>